Welcome to Classic Game Room. It's Monday. And Monday is Atari Day because around here I like to start the week with Atari. So every Monday you can expect something having to do with Atari. And as you can see I've got my Atari 2600 hooked up and I'm going to play some Space Chase in a little bit. But first I'm, I'm back from a trip where I was taking some photos for my upcoming ultra massive video game console guide. And I'm also working on an ultra-massive spaceship shooter guide. In fact, I'm going to be recording some footage of this game for that book and writing a section on Space Chase because it features spaceships. And every game with spaceships is fair game. Not just the big ones like Gigawing and Dodon and Pachi, but also the ones you've never heard of, like Space Chase on the Atari 2600. Jesus the Coked Up Chicken number 2 is released on Amazon.com right now in print and Kindle and two other big pieces of news. For a while now, people have been asking for the return of Classic Game Room competitive reviews, and I'm actually building a, a new set in the studio, a smaller set, to, uh, to film just those kinds of videos in a more relaxed setting, and uh, some of the first ones that you'll see are comparisons of the Game Boy and the Game Gear and the Analog NT Mini and the AV Famicom. And, since so many people have been asking about this, I have some little monsters who are also asking for one. Perhaps, sometime in the near future, there will be a Nintendo Switch versus other game consoles. Comparisons like the Nintendo Switch, how's it compared to, say, the Vectrex? That, that wouldn't be fair for the Nintendo. But anyway, it's something that you can probably look forward to later this year. The Nintendo Switch. Which actually looks really nice. Isn't Atari Day fun? This is fun. So I'm trying to think about Tuesday might be uh, Nintendo Day. Which would make Wednesday PlayStation Day. That means Thursday might be Xbox Day. But I have, you know, a bazillion games for these game systems. Lots of things to talk about, or let's talk about Van Damme movies. Monday's a great day for Atari Day. I mean, what's not a great day for Atari Day? But uh, let's kick this off, this week off, with some Space Chase. Just a uh, relaxed couple games here of Space Chase uh, before I write anything or produce any reviews. I obviously play the game and uh, familiarize myself with it. I've, I'm familiar with Space Chase anyway. It's like Demon Attack and uh, well, with a moving background. It's like Demon Attack if Demon Attack had a thing moving behind it. Um, you, you know what? One of the things that I'm disappointed with about the Nintendo Switch is the lack of Imagic support. And Apollo. Apollo made Space Chase in games like Shark Attack. But their games aren't on Nintendo. Not the Switch, at least. They should be. So what, should, what game should I get for the Nintendo Switch? Go! Ignore that one. Just ignore that. My mind was distracted thinking about what games to get for the Switch and hoping that, you know, Demon Attack and Cosmic Carnage are on it. You want to watch the bottom one. There you go. The one closest to the bottom is uh, tricky. So I saw for the uh, Switch. My friend Marcus was helping me out with this, since Marcus is Nintendo fanboy Marcus. They tried to nuke me. Ha, ah, but you missed. Nintendo fanboy Marcus was recommending, uh, Bomberman, something called ARMS, which I've seen on the internet, I guess. Don't know anything about it. Street Fighter, obviously. That kind of goes without saying. Um, I saw there's a Mario Kart 8, but how is it, is it different than the Mario Kart 8 I already played for the Wii U? I do have hopes that the uh, Switch is better than the Wii U in that 
with any luck there won't be wires all over the place. That, that drives me nuts about the Wii U. Also, I hate the controller. The controller with the screen. The Pro Controller is not too bad. And I don't think you can start the weekend without talking about Sega. And I would have an entire day for Vectrex, except there's actually not quite that many games for Vectrex. So. But not every day has to be a review. I mean, that, that's just physically impossible. Actually, a lot of exciting Vectrex homebrews are just news about the Vectrex. I think Saturdays may just be like... Saturdays and Sundays, you just mix it up. Vectrex, Odyssey 2, Arcadia 2001. And here it is on Atari Day, and I'm talking about Nintendo. But you know, some of the best Atari games were made by Nintendo. Do you know that? Oh, crap. And Splatoon is such a favorite around, around my house that... Uh, Splatoon 2 may be part of this decision. It's a cool game. I like Splatoon. I'm not very good at it. But conceptually, I think it's, it's brilliant. That didn't even hit me! Just ignore that game. That doesn't count. You know what else looks good on the Switch? It's Blaster Master. If they're going to give me a new Blaster Master, I demand that they also give me a new Bionic Commando. Because those were like my two favorite games on the NES. It's like I never hit anything if I just sit still. you got to keep moving in this game. Which is of course like the most dangerous thing that you can do in spaceship games. It's always safer just to like be very still. Well, you got to hit these guys at an angle because they're shooting at you. We just keep flying past Waffle House. The hash browns are there, but I can't stop to get them. It's unfair. Anyway, there's no right or wrong way to celebrate Atari Day. If you, want to if you want to celebrate Atari Day by talking about Nintendo and Waffle House, you can do that. That's cool. It'd be better if you were playing some Atari. But I am playing Atari. I heard there's a new Atari game system coming out. Stop. That sounds like, um... That sounds better than it probably is, isn't it? No! It better be backwards compatible with all Atari game cartridges, including the computer games. See you tomorrow for Nintendo Day. Maybe I'll talk about Atari. Classic Game Roma has been brought to you by how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. Ethel the Cyborg Ninja and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken on Amazon.